Ken, this is CRT. Welcome to this episode. In this episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today, I picked up a modern retro thing. Now, it's not something new, uh, like groundbreakingly new. There's been a lot of videos about this uh, particular product, but I just got it. I'm excited about it, especially since I paid less than half price for it, for its sticker price from local Walmart here in the Vancouver area. So I thought I would show it as I unbox it and try it out for the first time, especially since I have some plans for this thing in uh, my retro area here in my house as I'm going to be changing things here soon. So what I picked up was this. The Arcade 1UP Partycade Pac-Man Machine. So let's get to opening this thing up and trying it out to see if it was worth the money I paid for it. And uh, I'm kind of curious on whether I would have felt ripped off or not if I had paid full price for it. It's gonna be tough to play this through that packaging, so let's get it out of the box. And there we go, it is out of the box. I wish things happened that quickly in real life, but Actually, it wasn't that hard to unpack it from the box. And here is everything that came with it. Well, you got a bunch of instruction manuals showing you how to uh, mount it to the wall, everything else, obviously the machine. These are the legs that you add to the sides if you're just gonna have it sitting on a counter. And inside the styrofoam here, is all of the mounting brackets you'll need for either hanging it from the wall or whatever. So uh, yeah, so there's three things you can do with it. It's uh, hanging it from the wall, hanging it from a door, or tabletop legs. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think I would ever hang this from a door. Anyways, uh, one thing to note is that hidden under the brackets is the power supply for it and all of the uh, hardware for mounting it to the wall or hanging it from a door. Um, doing the legs here, you just remove the two screws down here, put the legs in makes it more sturdy because right now it's a pretty thin machine so it's not all that sturdy. So let's put the legs on it because I am going to be having it sitting on a tabletop. Okay so I just have to remove the bottom two screws here. And tighten it down. And do the same again on the other side. And the next thing to do is removing the protective plastic. And now, if I can get it started, there we go. Problem with having no fingernails. It's ready to be plugged in. Okay, it is plugged in. And 
And it is loading. So this has eight games on it. It has Pac-Man, Pac and Pal, Super Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, Xevious, Galaxian, and Mappy. So let's start with the. Let's see, uh, Pac-Man. Here we go. Well, Pac-Man works. So you hold the one player start button for five seconds to return to the menu. Pac and Pal, I don't think I have ever played. Okay, yes, I have played this game. Super Pac Man? And of course, Dig Dug. Xevious. Hard to play these games at an angle. Mappy. There. So Galaga is the one that I played the most in the arcade. And here is Galaxian. Not one that I played very much in the arcade, but the precursor to Galaga. All right, well, I'm gonna play this a little bit more and then I will tell you what I think. Well, there we go. That is the arcade one-up Partycade Pac-Man edition. Um, what did I think of it? Well, that joystick is really nice and clicky. The buttons are not the worst buttons I've ever used, certainly not the best, but they are functional. And uh, the games on it, well, there's eight games on it, a couple of them not overly familiar with, but the other ones, definitely games that I really enjoy, and I'm looking like I'm gonna really enjoy those games that I'm not familiar with too. So am I happy with this purchase? Well, for the price I paid for it, the less than half price, super happy. If I had paid full price for it, it would have hurt the pocketbook a lot more, but I think I would still like having it. I'm certainly glad that I got it on sale though. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the look at this arcade one-up machine. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But I've got to play some Pac-Man, so I will see you next time.